tonight, despite the best efforts of lead paint and father time, <laughs> boomers exist. <laughs> yes, the old folks' generation may own all of the homes and have all of the jobs, but there's one thing they don't have a handle on, social media clout. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna give them a hand with our next game, explain it to a boomer. <laughs> Panelists, I'm going to show you a social media phenomenon, and for 400 points, you'll buzz in and explain it in terms a boomer would understand. All right, please explain Fortnite to the boomer generation. <laughs> Vinny. Uh, you remember when you and your brother used to punch each other on the train tracks? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> imagine if you were both too much of a coward to use your hands. <laughs> and you did it virtually. <laughs> Maggie. So the thing about Fortnite is that it means the world to me. And it's really <laughs> crucial to the world because it's important. I don't know anything about Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Do you remember the Vietnam War? <laughs> it's exactly like that, but instead of CCR, it's Travis Scott, and you, uh, <laughs> you still get PTSD. <laughs> Great. Very well done, everyone. The next topic is quiet quitting. Please explain quiet quitting to a boomer. <laughs> Maggie. OK, so you know how women already don't get credit in the workplace? Now they just don't do their job. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny. Quiet quitting, you know, like when you gave up on trying to remember your wife's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, quiet quitting is like uh, when you drink half a bottle of wine and pop three Xanax instead of coming to your son's lacrosse game. Oh, yeah. Oh, that hit people in the childhood. That like brought some stuff up for people. That was yeah, fun. They play lacrosse out here. Yeah. I'm lacrosse players in the crowd. Hey, do you want to have a quick talk or what's going on? Yeah. I'm at, do you actually want to? Yeah, we'll go head out. Backstage. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be back, back in like okay. an right. hour. Vinny's already winning, so. <laughs> Taylor, stop. <laughs> Taylor, stop. Taylor, stop. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we've got Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Explain this to boomers. Maggie. Do you guys remember Princess Diana? Because <laughs> it's kind of like instead of dying in a car crash, she dated a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I gave you points, but leave me alone, Swifties. No. I swear to God, I didn't say it. It Maybe. wasn't against her, it was against it, well, I know, but they protect whoever she loves. I went to, to the that. show in Chicago, okay? I must... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Do you remember when you and your plain-faced boyfriend would split a milkshake at the local diner? <laughs> well, it's back. <laughs> I'm hoping we end on Maggie's joke because it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give my points to Maggie, actually? All right, yeah, let's give Vinny's points to Maggie. Oh my God, thank you. There you go. That was so nice. You're welcome, yeah. That it's was fine. so sweet. I didn't, oh. I didn't know she was so close. That was, uh, yeah. Oh, now she's winning. That was oh, a mistake yeah. on my part. That is tough. You should probably do that for me also, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll give Jack 100. Yes. Just to keep it. Pity points. Did we even? Oh, we did. Great. Look at that. Good job. This show is off the rails today. <laughs> All right. And finally, please explain TikTok. <laughs> Who can explain TikTok to a boomer? <laughs> Vinny. You remember lead poisoning? Imagine <laughs> millions of people who have that. <laughs> Jack. This is a large part of how I make my living, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Smart. 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 Right. Maggie. I know you guys think TikTok is all like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> but it's more like I'm 14 and you have autism. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep telling me that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of that game. Hope you boomers out there learn something. I'm just kidding. They're asleep. When we come back, we will be expressing gratitude. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 